there's something powerful that happens when you write down your dreams and goals. It's like you become a magnet for those things. What do you want in life? Write it down. What do you want your life to look like five years from now? Write it down. Where do you want to travel? Write it down. What are the dreams you had when you were younger that you would still like to accomplish? Write it down. You'll be amazed at what the practice of putting it down on paper does for you. But just don't write it down and forget it. Maybe make a vision board with pictures. At the very least, though, look at what you've written down often. It will stir you up to take action toward those things. On May 29, 2012 I wrote in my journal about the amount of money we had given to our church by that time. It was quite a significant amount to us. I had also been listening to a sermon by Jerry Savelle called, Pursuing God. In that message he references the book of Haggai. Haggai was a prophet to the Jewish nation after they returned from Babylonian captivity. In Haggai chapter 1 verses 2, 3 it says, 2 This is what the Lord Almighty says, these people say, the time has not yet come to rebuild the Lord's house. 3 Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai, 4 Is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses, while this house remains a ruin? In Dr. Savell's message he said that if you're being faithful to give to the Lord's house that you can expect God to take care of your house. We took that message to heart and prayed about a new house. I also wrote in my journal on that day, I have been sowing into God's house so we know that he's going to take care of our new house. At the time we were living in a 1200 SF rental home. It was the perfect place for us for three years, but we knew we were supposed to dream bigger. Fast forward to November of 2012, just six months after my journal entry, and we found an amazing neighborhood in one of the most affluent cities in the whole country. We walked into the model home and inquired about building a house in that new neighborhood and as we expected the price was way more than we could afford. So we moved on. A day or two later my wife got a call from the sales manager of the builder we had talked to. She told us about a 3100 SF spec home that hadn't been built yet, but that because it was already planned out and because the neighborhood was so new we could get in at a much more affordable price. It still felt like a stretch, but after much prayer we felt lead to buy it and it's the home we've been living in for the last five and a half years. Had we waited even a few months longer we would not have been able to afford it at the time. We were in the right place and at the right time. I cannot emphasize enough the power of writing down your dreams and goals. Just do it and watch what happens.